The inter-Korean military hotline in the West Sea that was severed more than two years ago amid a period of heightened tensions is now completely restored. It's all thanks to an agreement reached by Seoul and Pyongyang during general-level cross-border talks last month. I'll park you on with the details. South Korea's Defense Ministry announced Tuesday that the West Sea military communication channel was restored as of Monday, some 29 months since it was severed in February 2016, following the shutdown of the inner Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex. All functions of the line, including phone and fax functions, are working as normal. The Defense Ministry said the restoration would contribute to the easing of inner Korean tensions on the border and build trust between South and North. During last month's general-level inner Korean military talks, the two Koreas agreed to reconnect the military communication line on the peninsula, and South Korea provided the North with the necessary equipment for the communication line's restoration, following procedures set during the working-level inner Korean military talks that were held towards the end of last month. The defense ministry spokesperson told Arirang News Tuesday afternoon that the list of equipment sent to North Korea for the restoration of the military cable was closely discussed with the U.N. Security Council and the U.S. to make sure the offering of the equipment didn't violate current international sanctions on Pyongyang. The spokesperson also said the two Koreas plan to reconnect the East Sea communication line destroyed in a wildfire following working-level inter-Korean discussions in the near future, although no specific dates for the talks have yet decided. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.